I walked into the room and I hear this guy say, I just got my first iPhone last week and they expect me to learn this crap in three days. You know, that's where the bar is. <laughs> okay, that's the bar. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. People want to get noticed. I mean, it, it, that's that's part of it because, you know, they're saying, well, I've got to I've got to get their attention. So they're going to put stuff out there, which and again, we find out very fast. Again, I worked as a manager and you, yeah. know, you have the guy that sits there and says he can do this, this and this. And then, and then you're calling him after he turns in his first first uh, claim and you're you find out the truth and you sit there and go over it with him and he gets indignant that, you know, you're, you're ripping his estimate apart because he doesn't know what he's doing, you know, and didn't follow instructions. And, you, you know, especially when you give him the cheat sheet that says use these line items, you know, and he didn't even bother to read it. Um, sort yeah. Of thing. But uh, it you only hurt yourself, okay, when you do that. Um, yeah, you get on your resume, you're going to get the attention, you're going to get out there and you're going to, it's not going to work. I'll go back to, I mean, I'll tie this in, is we, when I went to my my one and only State Farm deployment, I walked into the room and I hear this guy say, this older gentleman says, I just got my first iPhone last week and they expect me to learn this crap in three days. You know, that's where the bar is. <laughs> okay. That's the bar. Okay. Yeah. If he didn't lie... He got a license, okay? He went and got certified for that carrier, and they called him, you know, because they needed him when they needed him, okay? The guy was still there when I left, okay? I mean, it was just like, you know, it, it I mean, he lasted a little, I, actually, I think he left a little before me, but anyway, it's, it's, that's where it's at. So there's no need to lie about it, you know? You're, you're going to get your shot when they're desperate enough to give you the shot, you know? But again, if you say that you have those skills or you're going to put that out there that you have those skills, at least by the time you get the phone call, make sure you have those skills. Make sure you have those certifications. And if you don't have if you don't have level one or two certification of exact mean, it's not the be all end all. OK, it does kind of help you a little bit, you know, to no. to get a little recognition and get moved up the ladder a little bit. But if you have any sort of proficiency or if you even let's say that you took a class. OK, and, and there's a lot of these a lot of these companies um, like. Um, our friend Dave. Hey, Dave. Uh, you know his his. Hey, Dave. Class, yeah, <laughs> Dave Kallenbach. Uh, you know his training that he does to get your Texas license. Uh, he even includes a, a little, you know, Xactimate tutorial. They basically calls it Xactimate Level One. I think that's what he calls it. Um, it's got great information in there. At least go do something like that. And if you have that, you've taken that class. You've got that certificate. Put that on there because it shows that you had that exposure to that information. That goes a long way as well. You know, they just want to know that, hey, you've yeah. been exposed to it. You've put your hands on it. You you can do it. And then if you can actually get the actual certifications, then definitely get those. I've never gotten any certifications, unfortunately. I, I really need to. I'm probably exactimate 1.35. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members-only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.